Voice assistants like Alexa, Siri and Cortana are undeniably on the rise. Some analysts even claim that voice will become the dominant interface, replacing visual UIs, touch, keyboards and mice. Will it though? Well, in the second episode of my Calm Before the Storm series, let's take a critical look at the potential of voice. Voice is an interface. Like any other interface, it enables information to flow between two things. In our case, you and some computer. For an interface to be good, it has to give you an effective way to give input to a machine and receive output from it. So really, all we have to do to understand the potential of voice is to test whether it is better or worse than other interfaces at this exchange. And of course, the answer is, as always, it depends. Its benefits are easy to understand. Speaking or being spoken to comes naturally to nearly any human above a certain age, at least in our own mother tongues. Sure, with the current state of voice assistance, we still have to use specific sentence structures to be understood, but generally speaking, voice is easy to use for nearly anyone. And the other clear benefit of voice is that it allows for nearly instant communication both ways. You don't have to take out and turn on your device. Your mouth is always ready to speak and your ears are always ready to hear. And being instantaneous is powerful. Combined, these two benefits make voice convenient, especially for short inputs and outputs. Good inputs are things like, hey machine, turn my lights on, put a timer on, or buy some toilet paper. And good outputs are things like the weather. The limitations with voice are numerous as well though. Voice transmits one piece of information at a time into one direction and only in a linear fashion. When Alexa explains to me how to cook a recipe, it only does so from the beginning to the end. It doesn't also constantly communicate the time, the date and the weather to me and I can't really talk to it and listen to it at the same time. It's like a street with one lane. Cars only drive in one direction, one after another and they can't overtake each other. Not exactly flexible. Let's compare this to checking out a recipe on my computer. I can decide which parts of the recipe I want to see first, maybe the ingredients, maybe the pictures, or maybe I want to read the whole thing from the beginning. Visual UIs don't force me to go linearly from top to bottom. At the same time, I'm served many other pieces of information at the same time too. The time, the date, other recipes, ads, you name it. And of course, the user could quickly reply a notification or give any other input to the system while still being served all the output. Unlike with voice, input and output can happen at the same time because visual UIs are like streets that have multiple lanes going either way. What all of that leads to is that voice interfaces don't give you much context. As an example, let's say I walked in on my girlfriend listening to a song on her Amazon Echo. I would know none of the context of the song. What is the song name? How much is left from the song? What song is playing next? Is she using my account or hers? Nothing. The only information I'm being communicated to is the song itself, cause voice is a one lane street. If I walked up to my girlfriend's laptop playing music though, I would see all the context right away. Another limitation of voice is that it is inherently imprecise. Using your voice to input mathematical formulas, code, or even just a more complicated name can be painful. Written word is precise, pronunciation is up for interpretation, voice therefore is inherently imprecise when compared to other interfaces. In the end, using voice is a simple trade-off. We trade speed and convenience for context and precision. Listening to Spotify is an excellent way to visualize this trade-off. If I just want Spotify to play me any music, then yelling out the command is often more convenient than taking out my laptop and going through a UI. If I want to do something more complex, like putting together a playlist, or if the name of the band I want to hear music from is hard to pronounce, I would prefer a visual interface. And this trade-off between convenience and precision explains why people use smart speakers in their homes quite a lot, where convenience is king, sometimes on their phones, where it's nice to have, and rarely ever on their PCs, where precision matters most. Anyway, I'm generally skeptical when people declare voice as the interface of the future. It will surely become one interface, but by itself it is just too imprecise for complex tasks. There are, however, two trends that could make it a lot more useful in the future. First is mixing up voice and visual UIs. We see this with Amazon having brought out the Echo Show and Google Assistant focusing on devices with screens as well. This way you can kind of have the best of both worlds. A more futuristic example of this would be VR and AR. 
And believe it or not, Cortana in Windows Mixed Reality is doing this the best for now. Whether you are wearing a HoloLens or a VR headset like my Dell Visor, you can always just tell Cortana to do things for you. And I think this pairing makes a ton of sense. One of the problems of these systems is that you don't already have precise input methods. The VR controllers are fine for shooting zombies, but clunky for anything else. And in the case of HoloLens, you have to rely on imprecise hand tracking. Being able to just give verbal commands can be really useful here. And finally, voice will become useful when our machines become smart enough to replace complex, precise tasks with simple voice commands. My favorite example of this is Bixby. Yes, you've heard that right, the Samsung voice assistant that everyone loves to hate. Bixby primarily wants to navigate your Samsung phone's overly complicated UI so you don't have to. So you can just tell it to start measuring your heart rate or take a 4K video in 30 frames per second or basically anything else Samsung apps can do. Bixby then navigates the UI for you and goes through all the options so you won't have to. If we can reduce complex tasks to simple commands in the future, voice could become a lot more useful. In either case though, I personally think that voice will coexist with previous technologies rather than replace them. But hey, what do you think about voice assistants? I put together a poll which you can find in the description of this video, so go there and cast your votes. While you're at it, be sure to follow me on my social media channels because that's where I hang out. And a big shout out to the Polymatter channel, a really cool YouTube channel. Uh, he suggested this video to me, and if you enjoy my content, then you will love his content as well. So subscribe to both of our channels. All right, bye.